Good morning to you all. Did you have a good night of rest? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah, I just wanted to hear properly. <laughs> all right. Now let us find out what God has for us this morning. And then we can find out uh, where we stand. <clears throat> now we have been discussing yesterday <inaudible> the two institutions that we brought from heaven. The first institution is marriage. And God says that marriage is honorable. And God gave another institution Sabbath. And he told that that's a sign between you and me. And these two institutions, which brings the mankind closer to God. And this way the mankind can have the wonderful experience of a being with God. And this was one of the reasons why the devil decided to attack this institution. So the Satan attacks both the institution. <coughs> Reason why he attacks? That these two institutions bring glory to God. <coughs> By attacking them and he brings a glory of God null and void. <coughs> Let us quick, take a quick tour about the and the problem on marriage today. I bring the statistic from the United Nations. And from uh, let us find out here. What are some of the causes? It says that more than 50% of the marriage end up in divorce. And the remaining couples are not happy at all. What does it mean? 50% end up in divorce. The remaining 50% are not happy. And that is a very shocking factor. And the third factor we consider here, and the chances of having a happy marriage is less than 33%. If you follow the way how the average people handle their dating and their marriage. And it says that hardly one in three is success. And what was the reason? Media. Like books and cinemas and dramas and newspapers. And all these things are delivering a wrong message to the young people. And they try to bring the world to the world of fantasy. Anything unrealistic thing they try to bring and brainwash them. And also there is a problem of stacking before and after the marriage, you know, like a filtering and many other stuff there. Uh, you, know, you know, stacking is a serious problem. Before marriage is serious, after marriage is also serious. And seriously, people are involved in both cases. Now quickly let us go through the browsing of the, the problems in the home. 
Ernest Carl. Să trecem repede în vedere problemele familiilor. What is that? More and more homes. Din ce în ce mai multe familii. Have today become permissive. Au devenit astăzi permisive. And uh, you know, there is nothing uh, in the good old days. The father was a kind of priest and king. <coughs> and he had the law in his hand. And the mom used to tell, go ask for that. Have you consulted with your father? Hey, be careful, be silent, father is coming. <coughs> Always a high esteem of the father and his uh, the stage in the home was status in the home was always maintained by her. Mother recognized father as the head of the family. I said, mother recognized, I tell, in a past tense. Which means, it became history. A few years ago, I had a seminar in one of the countries in North America. In the panel discussion after the study, and I asked a question to the congregation. And I asked a question, who is the head of the family? There was absolute silence. Nobody speak one word. Then I smiled and turned to the sister. I asked the sisters. Sisters. Who is the head of the family? They just looked at me, they smiled. They didn't answer. Okay, I thought I'm not going to get the answer from the sisters. Then I turned to the brothers. Yes. Brother, who is the head of the family? And now the sisters stand sitting around. They were trying to glance the man what the answer they were going to give. And the brother almost prompted to answer. Look to the left, look to the right. He thought, better keep silence. And he was silent. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the way the sisters gave a look to the brothers, the brothers said they don't know the answer. <laughs> they were, then I said, okay, if neither of you have the answer, <laughs> and let me tell you the answer. From, and I said, the man is the head of the family. Guess what? The response from the sisters. Together in unison. They said, no. And I said, yes. Let's read what the Bible says. I turned to the Bible. And I read from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. The sister, yeah. But we are the neck. They are the head. We are the neck. The neck makes the head to move. So this is the mentality today. A few years ago, it was in North America. Now I see also in Europe. I don't know how much is their influence in Romania. Many times they forget their position, whether the head or neck or neck or head. The neck thinks that the neck is turning the head. So then what happened? The respect of the father 
Ce se întâmplă? Respectul pentru Tatăl is not as it used to be. Nu mai e așa cum era cândva. Sometime. Uneori. And when the father controls. Când Tatăl controlează. And mother does. Ah, ignore. Mama zice, o, lăsați-i, ignoră, e Tatăl vostru. They, he just melted down the power and authority of the father. And that is the situation today. Other gods have entered in many homes. What are the other gods? Fashion, Moda. television, Televizionia. and all other medias which come into a home to destroy the family union. Și toate celelalte medii care intră în familie pentru a distruge unirea. Today, one more evil has entered into home. Astăzi a mai intrat un rău în familie. Three years ago, it was television. Cu câțiva ani în urmă era televiziunea. Today is this one. Astăzi e acesta. Do you understand? Înțelegeți? What is the evil in this one? Ce e rău la acesta? 24 hours they want to tax somebody. 24 de ore din 24 vor să scrie mesaje. So in in și în multe locuri din America și din Europa, chiar și din People România, are to the că oamenii sunt, sunt dependenți de aparatul lor micuț. Many home in United States. În multe cămine din America. The father, mother and children in three different rooms. Eh? Tatăl, mama și copiii în trei camere diferite. They talk to each other with this little mission. Vorbesc unul cu altul prin intermediul aparatului. Because there is no cohesiveness. They don't have the closeness that they used to have. Pentru că nu au coeziune, nu au acea relație apropiată. The other guards in the form of entertainment, Alți recreation, sub forma distracției, recreației, parties, petreceri, And the social influence and the peer pressure. And the next one is the family cohesiveness. And there, there used to be a time. The grandfather was the television. And he tells the story. All the grandchildren sit down and listen to the good old stories. Și toți copiii stăteau în prejur și ascultau vechile From the Bible, din Biblie, or from the adventure of grandfather, whatever he did. Sau din aventurile bunicului, ce a făcut And el. the children thought the grandfather was the best hero in the world. Și copiii credeau că bunicul fusese cel mai bun erou din lume. Then father took over the responsibility. Apoi a preluat tatăl responsabilitatea. And continuing this situation when the grandfather wasn't there. Și când nu mai era bunicul, Today, grandfather is in old age home. Nobody visits him. In my local church, we go to sing for the old age home on Sabbath afternoon. Oh, those old people cry when they see the little children. They were longing to see their grandchildren. Ei tângeau să-și întâlnească nepoții. And they lost that opportunity. Dar au pierdut acea ocazie. And they think that the food and the sleeping place is good enough. Ei cred the că... The children think that they found the grandparents food and uh, sleeping place is good enough. Copiii cred că pentru părinților bătrâni, un loc unde să doarmă și unde But să mănânce e suficient. Parents. Grandparents. They want to see their little grandchildren. They want to see their families. They want to laugh with them, cry with them. But now in this place they have only crying experience. And then there is another problem of assimilation of thinking and the practices of the society. Asimilarea gândirii și practicilor societății. And the people don't live for them, they live for the society. Oamenii nu trăiesc pentru ei înșiși, oh, ci pentru societate. This, what will they think? Dacă fac asta, ce o să gândească oamenii? They buy a car, they buy a house, they wear a dress. Not for them, it is for the society. Își cumpără o casă, o mașină sau haine, nu pentru ei, ci pentru societate. If my neighbor has a Mercedes Benz, then I want a Mercedes Benz. If my neighbor has a BMW, I need one of that. 
vecinul are de BMW, am și eu nevoie de unul. And what my neighbor has, I need to have. Ce are vecinul trebuie să am și eu. If you don't have one, your wife press you all the time. Look at that man, he can have one, you can have one. Dacă nu ai, soția te pistonează mereu. Uite, vecinul poate să aibă și tu poți să ai. If the neighbor bought a couch, I need to buy that couch the same one like that. Dacă vecinul și-a cumpărat o canapea, trebuie să cumpă și eu una ca el. And don't misunderstand me. Most of the time, when the ladies get together, nu mă înțelegeți greșit. De cele mai multe ori, they talk around all these things. Se asociază, vorbesc despre toate aceste lucruri. What appliance they've bought. Ce... And what material for the kitchen or a home they bought? And they brag about it. That evening, the man got into trouble. Man, look at that! You see, got it. That man got it. You used for nothing. So that man has to sleep in the garage that day. So that, that is the problem. <laughs> and when they get, they get together, they talk about the brag about the things they have. <laughs> and that creates trouble assimilating the practices of the society. And let us quickly step into the seven significant causes. <coughs> Of this problem. What is disintegration? And I have been noting from the time that we started the seminar. They were asking one question. Who should go out? Who should go out? It is talking about when it's the leave and clear, it was not talking about abandoning. It is talking about the living behind the influences. Now the greatest problem today is disintegration. The second evil or second cause of the problem. The transition of society. The society used to be in a kind of spinning wheel society where they used to spin the yarn and make the clothes by hand, everything. <coughs> but today they had transformed in the, into the steering wheel society. And the age of the time the men spend on the road. In other words, we can say that it's 80% of the time they spend outside the home. When your wife or the children need the most. You are outside the home. I know a case from my neighbor. He was a successful businessman. And a plenty of money. And that man decided to work extra time. More claim, more money. More and more he started coming home very late, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. He was just my neighbor, and I talked to him. Frank, I don't see you during the daytime. Oh, yeah, I'm busy. I got too many clients. I have a lot of busy activities in my business. And I told Frank, you also have another client at home. You have important client that need to be taken care of here. And he responded, Pastor, they are there all the time. That is a guaranteed client. I told Frank, make a mistake. Not guaranteed claim. If you if you neglect this client, you will lose this guaranteed claim. And time passed. 
atât timp. I saw him at 5 o'clock back home. Și l-am văzut seara la 5 acasă. I was surprised. Am fost uimit. It was not one day. Nu era doar într-o zi. It was consistent. He is home at 5 o'clock. Era ceva persistent. La 5 era acasă. I saw him playing with the children, playing with his wife. Și l-am văzut jucându-se cu copiii, cu soția. Okay, one day. Într-o zi. And I asked Frank, what happened? You lost all your clients. No, Pastor. I don't want to lose my guaranteed claim. I thought about it. But then, if the sign, I started seeing the sign in my client that I was beginning to lose my claim. We have enough money. Avem suficienți bani. And I don't have enough time for the family. Și nu am suficient timp pentru familie. Now I made the opposite. Și acum am făcut invers. I made the balancing. Enough time for the family. Am echilibrat lucrurile. Am timp pentru familie. And we are happy. Și suntem fericiți. So now there should be a big balancing between the family and the business. Trebuie să fie un echilibru serios între firmă și familie. The next problem is the changing role of women. In the past, the woman cooperated husband in building home. Taking care of everything of the domestic affairs. They were so happy to tell what is your profession. Erau atât de fericite să spună care e profesia They lor. They were proud to tell homemaker or housewife. Erau mândri să spună că sunt casnice. But today, Astăzi însă, they are ashamed to tell that they are homemakers. Se rușinează să recunoască. They want to tell that they are professionals. Spun că vor, vor să spună că sunt profesioniste. Sunt And they believe that they have the right to play a equal role. Și cred că au dreptul să aibă un rol egal. And they, in the, that was not the plan. Man was supposed to be a provider. And the protector. And the woman supposed to be homemaker making the home. I'm not downplaying the professional. Don't misunderstand me. But you do not neglect even duty as a wife. Dar nu-ți neglija datoria ca soție. And to take care of the children and the husband is the duty of every woman. Și e datoria fiecarei femei să aibă grijă de casă și de copii. The next cause is materialism. Următoarea cauză e materialismul. And just to want to add more material. Dorința de a avea mai multe lucruri materiale. And in United, the statistics says, statisticile spun că în scoară, in United States, People buy more than they use. Particularly during the festival season, when they sell the material on uh, and the, the prices less than the discounted price, people go there. They have the for, they have a mania for buying and purchasing. They rush to the stores. And they are proud of buying as many as possible. When they buy, and they buy with this fellow, little plastic money, which is not their money, And they don't know how much they spend. Then they have to work two jobs and three jobs and to pay off this plastic. Now when they buy, they have no place to keep. They put it in the attic. Never used. Once in a while, after two or three years, when they clean the attic, Never open box, brand new material, they go and throw it in the thrift store or the charitable institution. Thus, they waste thousands of dollars. 
I'm talking about American style. That you are not far behind that style. You are running behind them too close. Few years from now, you will have the same problem. And then there is another problem is weak in society. Society is so weak. And there is no support system in the society. In the past, the entire family was supporting one another for the success of the family. And the people respected the heritage of the family. Now, nothing. People even change their family names. They don't want to be called by that name. They invent their ideas to change their names even. So the weak society, weak support system in the society for the family, and weak moral value. And there was a time what was called as a moral and immoral. Today become normal. And very, you know, there is a very fine, thin line between moral and immoral. <coughs> Almost we come to a point there is nothing called immorality. One day, I was driving to a place. <coughs> Suddenly I saw a police behind me. He was just behind me. I thought that the uh, police was behind me, what did I do? <coughs> so, but I was not doing anything, he, he was not after me. I, I just pulled over, and, but the police passed me. And the police stopped a car passing me. This was a little uh, the convertible car that you can open the top. And there was a young lady. She was driving past everybody. And the police stopped. What was her problem? The lady was driving in public in the daylight at 2.30 in the afternoon. She was, she was driving topless. She no, 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 nothing on top. And she was going because of some protest or whatever, and she wanted to make some challenges. She was just zooming through the roads. And she thought that was normal. And that was a few years ago. Police got her. And last year, it's the opposite. There was a process. 300 cars. All of them without dress on the top. No problem. Police gave them protection. Matter of three years. What was illegal became legal. Do you understand the changing morality today? So these are some of those things that we need to take care of the things today. The, the next problem is a negative media influence. You know, we say, what is wrong with television? What is wrong with the magazines? What is wrong with the music and video and everything? All the message they give is a wrong message to take the society away from God.
greșite și intenționează să ducă societatea departe de Dumnezeu. Now, these are some of the causes of the difficulty in the marriage today. Acestea sunt unele dintre cauzele problemelor din familiile de azi. Marriage is like a tree like a stool. Căsnicia e ca un scaun cu trei picioare. I know many of our brethren here Știu că mulți dintre frații de aici know how to work with the wood. Știu să lucreze cu lemnul. Because I was here when you were building this uh, uh, building. I was surprised at how much talent God has given you to work with the tool. Well, I am I'm not talented with that one. Uh, but you know the formula. And according to the geometry, best stability cea mai bună stabilitate este trei lectări stul, nu de four. Cea a scaunului cu trei picioare, nu a celui cu patru. And the three lectări stul scaunul cu trei picioare can be in any kind of surface if, even if it is not even. Poate să stea pe orice suprafață chiar dacă nu e dreaptă. The four lectări one cel cu patru picioare if it is not even, it shakes. Dacă nu e drept, terenul se mișcă. But the three will not shake. And two will not stand. One leg also will not stand. The first best one is the three legs. So marriage is like a three leg stool. As we discussed yesterday, one leg is husband, one is wife. Uh, sisters, Surori. tell me who is the third one? Normally, that is what people say that. But that is seldom happened. The third leg is for some time. There changes due to the time. When they just got married, the third leg happened to be their home, how to uh, organize their house and how to furnish the house, how to make their settlement. After two, three years, it became their children in the third leg. After four, five years, their job, their career, their promotion. And then after some time, and their social status establish a proper social status. Accomplishment. After some time, it became the third leg is how to have our retirement. How to settle down in pension. So it goes on. The third leg is keep changing until they die. <coughs> the seldom God became the third leg. You, can you agree with that? That's the reality. So then it all begins with how to build a little house or how to the funniest little rendered house was the beginning. Începe cu cum să-ți construiești o casă mică sau cum să-ți închiriezi una. And until the time when they are very old and they are going to die. Și până la momentul când sunt foarte bătrâni, aproape să moară. And their third leg is going to be, where is going to be my funeral? Ultimul lor picior, al treilea picior este unde să-ți închiriezi una. And who is going to be the preacher in my funeral service? Și cine o să predice la mormântare? I don't know in Romania, but in America you have to buy your graveyard when you are still alive. Here also the same. So and where to buy my spot for burial? And all those things are their third leg. So then they are almost with the two leg and one leg and they are stumbling to sustain their marriage. And so that, that's how that goes. And the husband and wife happen to be the, uh, uh, the continual uh, two legs. 
Soțul și soția sunt mereu cele două picioare. Uh, okay, I think I have gone too far without turning the slides there. Okay, now, the third leg is God is a seldom true. And then, yeah, this is what I already told. Sometimes he has a haircut, sometimes a job, sometimes a high home, sometimes a car, and so many other stuff. Or there. And the list can go endless until the end. Now, in the marriage, there are a few points that you need to consider. In order to sustain the marriage. No, brilliant. Let's find out here. We are talking about after marriage. Yesterday we were talking about the principle of marriage. No, we are not talking about before marriage. Before marriage we already done it, before you all came. How to find a girl and how to find a boy, we finished. But now three important talks, the task we have to consider in the marriage. The very primary and the first one is mold into one family. Sisters, you use salt, do you? If you don't use salt, the food doesn't taste good. Is it true or not? Yeah, we need to have some salt. And mostly they keep the salt sacred in every table. Okay, salt is very important. So today the young people disappeared. <laughs> Maybe I scared them by asking questions. <laughs> yeah, still no problem, we can ask a little bit the younger one. Brother, what is the composition of salt? Sodium? <laughs> Chloride. <laughs> what is sodium? It's a poison. What is chloride? It's a poison. Instable elements. Okay? Now, these instable poisonous elements, when they combine together, they become stable. And it is not poison anymore. Matter of fact, the salt is life-giving. Sometimes they give a saline water for life-saving. <laughs> yes? Because it is a lifetime, it is a rehydrating, life-saving fluid. <laughs> How is that the poison become a life-saving? <laughs> A proper combination. And they become a something new. Neither of them carry their old characteristic. And they blend into one, bring a new substance, new characteristic. And that is what is needed. Like we studied yesterday. Don't touch mine. I don't touch yours. Yours is yours, mine is mine. And then they don't become one. Form your own family. Your own meatless. You and me, I and you. And that should be the formula they should have. And that will be the excellent way that they can get out of all the influence from the parents. And the single friends. Single friends have a very dangerous influence in the marriage life. And because they will think in the same old parent and that will be a seriously a harmful influence in the family. The second one, 
is to overcome the tendency to take control. Who will be the driver? Many a time, there's a competition. Who is going to run the show? It, it used to be the practice. <coughs> In the good old days. If man and woman get into the car, a gentleman open the car for women at the passenger side. And the man drives the car for the woman. Now, It is opposite. Women jump into the car and they drive. Men sit in the back seat. I'm talking the truth. I'm not telling something for the joke. And you know, it was a, it was the standard pattern. You know, you fill the gasoline in the car. You have the tanker, gas tank at the back side. Some cars have the tank on the driver's side. Some tank has the passenger side. You know why? No. <laughs> Okay. But usually they say. Uh, okay, if that has in the driver's side. That is a car for man to drive. And if that has in the passenger side. That is a car for woman to drive. So now they say the opposite. Okay, if the if the uh, the the gas filling thing is in the driver's side, man has to fill the gas. <laughs> if it is in the passenger side, still man has to come around and fill the gas. And the man fills the gas, the woman drives the car. <laughs> so now I don't say that the dri woman driving is wrong. Good, you drive the car, man can sit the other side, not a problem. At least man can relax a little bit. But the problem is, if they want to drive the car of the family, and if there is a competition, who is going to drive? According to the Bible, it appears in chapter 5, verse 23, And 24-25, it says the man should be the head of the family and he has to be provider and sustainer and he should give life for the family as did Christ. But then, now, what is happening is Today's world, a competition who will be taking control. And, and then there should be never a competition from the beginning. And the third one is the closeness. Yesterday the brother was telling, and then people don't feel comfortable when they are holding their hand and walk the couple. I was reading a book on marriage and it was telling about the age of the marriage. And if one fall upon other and they how can they walk like one person? 
dacă se lasă, se sprijinesc unul de celălalt și merg ca un, o singură persoană, de tocmai s-au căsătorit. And then sometimes they only just to put around and go. They are married, but not too long, maybe one year. Or barely entering the second year. Then when they hold their hand this way, hand in hand this way, they are in the third year of marriage. And when they are holding their one finger and walk, they are in the fourth year of marriage. Then if a man goes a few steps ahead, the woman behind, that is about seven years of marriage. But if a woman goes a few steps ahead, the man a few steps behind, it is a 12 year of marriage. And then after some time, if you only see a man alone, and he is married for over 20 years. <laughs> so then they say that according to the age of the marriage, their closeness is seen. Even in the church, in the first year of marriage, the husband and wife can sit in one chair. They have enough space there. Even though the chair is very small, they will manage it. And it come closer. After some time, the two chairs are not enough. Who are fed? It's too close. It's too hot. So, you can see how do they carry their marriage openly can be seen. And the more closer you come, more greater you feel. Scientifically proved <coughs> that closeness of one another, I'm talking the physical closeness, <coughs> touching, walking, sitting together, <coughs> they have electrical pulses <coughs> and that stimulate one another to have a bond. <coughs> and that would be an excellent experience when they grow in the marriage. Mm. So then, that uh, number one is more into one family. Task two, fight against individuality. Maintain the unity. Unity helps and the individuality separates you. The Bible calls that as one flesh. And the people try to misinterpret that word in according to their thought. They are narrowing down this particular word. It is not just that one word meaning. It became one in emotion, one in thought, one in function, physical, mental, and spiritual. And then continue maintaining this. I'm talking now about that the first, the young love, the one to three years. Nowadays, now what I'm doing is the situation between zero year to three years. Uh, and you have to be more enthusiastic. <laughs> and in this period of time, is there is a possibility of breaking. The first year is a crucial. Because they don't understand each other very well yet. Like your brother Daniel spoke yesterday. <laughs> After they receive the marriage certificate, they love. 
After that, they don't know the meaning of that. Slowly, it goes down. And they don't know each other sufficiently. Sure, definitely. And there it becomes so difficult for them to make an adjustment. Let me take a little advantage to tell about the understanding of men and understanding of women. I am going to, to pay attention. This solves the problem all, all the way through, not only one to three, all the way along. Let me address to the sisters first, then I can address to the brothers. The brain wiring for the man and woman is different. This is where the women think differently than men think. But the women don't understand how the men think. And men don't understand how the women think. And I would give you some examples. Women are made in such a way that they can have a broader view. I'm talking the vision, real vision. The men are made to have a far vision. So that is why the women do not get accident when they drive slow or when they don't have the accident in the, the crossroads. Because they can see very easily 180 degrees. But men easily get a problem here in the crossroads. And men seldom get accident in this high speed or the long drive. But women do. Because their vision, I'm talking real physical vision. Because women vision this way. Men vision this way. So, this is one way. Now see how, when you pull out your car from the parking lot, or want to make a parallel parking, men can just pull in the car in a very tight uh, space. Yeah, they can drive reverse very easily. They just want to look at the mirror, boom, they put it there. <coughs> I'm talking general, okay? There may be exceptions. And women take a long time. They go in, go out, go in, go out. It takes forever for them to park there in the parallel parking. Sometimes they say, say call a man, I can you park it here, please? And the man gets in there, then... He come and park it there. Because men can drive this way and this way, no problem. Women can do this way and this way is difficult. Because of the orientation. So, and the, you, you know the map? Okay. Sisters, do you don't misunderstand me, okay? I'm telling the real. Well, women can read a map different than the men can read. So then, in those, before we had a GPS, we drive with the map. Men drive, sometimes the, the wife gives the direction, okay, go here, this way. She is the GPS. And now, Okay, man, look at the map. Okay, here, 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 understand. So we have the place. When he come back, the same map, he knows how to come back. And women cannot. So they have to turn this way. <laughs> then only they can do. So they print the atlas for the map for the driving. Uh, 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 this way. 
Going, coming, same man. For a woman, this space, going. Next space, coming. This is upside down printer. That is how they can do it. But now, notice that some of the advantages women have which men don't have. Men cannot do multitask. There are exceptions. But women are multi multitask. <coughs> Example. They are in the kitchen. And they are in the phone. Talking to somebody else. Da, 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 da. And the children are there. They are playing their fire. Hey, don't do that. I'll tell you that. Keep it there. Okay, sister. And the sister know that you are talking to the child. Suddenly say, hey, shut your mouth. Don't do that. The other lady know that this is not to talk you to her shut your mouth. She knows that you are talking to the child. And somebody is ringing the bell at the door. The sister, hold on for a second. Someone is at the door. See, oh, but there, come on in, please. Sit down there. Then already you know that you have something on the stove. You can stare. And you talk to the phone and cut the vegetables, not the finger. <laughs> and you can and finish the thing, you can also wash the dishes and put it over there. Then from your laundry, it rings. You run to the laundry, take out the clothes, put it in the dryer. Oh, now she has a visitor. Come and sit here. She made juice and give it help. One lady did the work of ten ladies. Now, man, the father. <coughs> He's sitting there. He's reading his paper. And the telephone rings. And the mother brings and gives the telephone to her, to him. And what does mom say? Dad is in telephone. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> and when the, the father is in telephone, everybody is silent. <laughs> Why? Because if somebody talks, they cannot understand what is going on here. And when he is in telephone, the baby cries, he doesn't know. And the potato burns, he doesn't know. Somebody calls at the door, he doesn't know. He knows only one is the conversation. Is it real or not? The man can do one work. And a woman can do ten works at the same time. Because their brain is wired such way. They can handle so many things. I have never seen a sister who was talking on the telephone, cutting a vegetable, and cutting her fingers. <laughs> But I have seen a brother, he was cutting an apple, and telephone ring, <laughs> even before he answered, he cut his finger. <laughs> Because when the telephone ring, his attention was diverted. This is real. So then, Now let's see, come to the problem. There is a different kind of problem solving for men and problem solving for women. How? When sister and then when the woman has problem, what do they do? Sister for men. <laughs> If the ladies have problem, how do they solve? Dacă femeile au o problemă, cum o rezolvă? 
if nobody around take the phone and call somebody far away in California to you know what California people cannot solve the problem Are they There were three girls downstairs. And I was in my room. I just wanted to let, let the air circulate. I opened the window, opened the door. There was big noise. I said, who oh, could be there? I came and saw three little girls. They were making a noise as if they were 300 girls. <laughs> the other time, I saw about 10 boys there. They were playing around, they were walking around. I was coming up and I asked Bunda, how are you doing? <laughs> well, he didn't understand, but he shook his head. <laughs> I thought he was a poor little boy standing alone. I patted his head and patted his back and I walked. But there were about 10 boys. They were all busy with their own. They were playing or talking or doing something. They were They were And what does, even at home, you have three boys. They are themselves that way. But the three girls, you, everybody can hear them. Why? Sisters, why? <laughs> They need to talk, I agree. The ladies must talk. If they don't talk, there is a problem. <laughs> yes. If the ladies don't talk, it is serious. There is going to be a storm. <laughs> And we don't need a silence before storm. Okay, now, when the ladies said problem, they solve the problem by talking. Let me give you a scenario. Example. <clears throat> the lady goes to supermarket for shopping. She has little two children, toddlers. One she carries in hand, one she holds in hand. She finishes shopping. When she comes back, <coughs> she has ten bags in her hand. <coughs> And uh, she comes home. She tries to uh, close the door. <coughs> And she tripped. And she slipped her leg and she fell down. Now she grabbed herself, grabbed the bag, grabbed the children, she is walking. And the husband is sitting there and reading his paper or maybe playing with his uh, uh, video game. And the lady comes limping. And the response of the man. Hey Susie. Hey Susie. You fell down. I told you not to have the big long hide. And the lady got so upset. He beat her feet down and throw the bag and goes. She did not ask him the solution. Men always want to give a solution. Women always want a solution. Their solution is talking. And opposite party should listen. Women want to speak, men don't want to listen. So if women want to speak, sit down there and listen. Two old people were talking. Two old men were talking. I have always a problem with my ear. Why, man? What happened? My wife chewed my ear. 
Because yum, 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 chocolate. <laughs> See, all this talk, 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 it's very, very irritating. Then the other man, the other man says, Yeah, that is true. Then the next man asks me, How do you handle yours? Is your wife also talk? Of course, more than your wife. But how do you handle her? Oh, she is thinking that I am listening. <laughs> so now, at least give you a year. Brother, if your wife has the problem, she is not asking you a solution. She only wants you a time. You listen to her. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, I, I understand you. Sit down and listen. She talks for half an hour, one hour. Even if it is two hours. Listen to her. Throw your newspaper, throw your books, throw your telephone. A phone call comes. Can I call you later, please? Uh, I am with my wife, I am with my family. Oh, see, smile, the whole <coughs> heaven has come down for her. And after she talk, 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 finish, she has nothing to talk. Then she gives you a big kiss. Your problem is solved. Her problem is solved. But men cannot keep them outside. They will talk. Then she talks. Then immediately become coral. Men understand when women open their mouth. They are asking advice. That's not true. They want your ear. They don't want your head. There are occasions they are asking for advice. That time you give. Not when they are talking about your problems. So if this can be done, the listening and hearing, the, the talking and listening can be balanced. You will have less problems. Now, how do men, when, when men have problem, how do they solve problem? Your husband comes from his workplace, from the office. He got a serious problem at our workplace. He comes there silent. And then he comes there and says, he's talking to nobody. Usually what happens? In general, the wife is saying, honey, what happened? Zice, Nothing. She means, honey, what happened? And her husband says, Nothing. Honey, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. You want to fool me? I am asking ten times what happened. You said nothing. And if nothing, why don't you talk, man? I have nothing. I'm sick of You never tell me the truth. You never consider me. And you still try to tell. Look, all kind of things. You have. I was never far of your problem and difficulty. He had problem outside. Now he has problem inside. How do men solve problems? When there is a problem, there are three things they will do. One, they are silent. Leave them alone. When they are silent, they are resolving the problem. But one thing, silent means difficulty. That is for a woman. Yes, silent means there is going to be strong. But a man, Silent means there is going to be peace. Because he was resolving the problem. 
Asta Two, he will isolate himself. He doesn't want to bother anybody. Man want to have the problem with him. Women want to share their problem to everybody. Let the whole world know. So, when women they have problem, not only they talk, they also cry and clean and everything. What happened? You have some problem? Yes, you know what? But men now, grim, grim, very serious. And third thing they will do, they will try to fix something that could be useless or never use something. For example, you had a motor or something which was lying down, never used, it's 50 years old, 20 years old. That's an example. You go there, you can't see the rough set and then... And wait, and what are you doing, John? I'm fixing this motor. We don't need one. Then he's still fixing. Then what are you doing? You're wasting your time. This is about 20 years old, you will not get the parts even. She would not give him peace. Ladies, look, what is doing? This man is not fixing the motor. He is resolving the problem. Leave him alone. Don't give him trouble. But usually the woman can, they will give their judgment. That's used for nothing. You are wasting your time. You can go there to the garden, you can fix those stuff there. Or you can take this girl to the violin class or the piano class. Ladies, they, he is solving the problem. Leave him to solve the problem. And one more thing that we need to understand. Women. Never ask man any. <coughs> For example, let, let me ask you. Can you? Can you ask me? <coughs> For example, this bulb is gone. <coughs> it needs to be changed. <coughs> the husband comes. <coughs> Don't ask him, John, can you change the bulb? <coughs> It's a challenge. Of course I can. What do you think? I'm a man. I know how to fix it. Don't ask the question as challenging, can you? But tell him, John, change the bulb. Oh, the bulb need to be changed. Many times we don't know how to use the words. So the brain translate that you are challenging his ability. When you say, can you? Do you understand? Man, when you provoke his manhood, oh, that is not too good. Just tell them, don't change the bulb. Well, he thinks that you respect him and he respects his ability. So the communication has a major role in the successful marriage. So then you can avoid a lot of breakage in your communication. The next one is the teamwork. And I told last week the three important elements of sex. This was a, this usually is practiced in sports and any other activities. But that could be in organization, administration, family, everywhere. One is team spirit. Two role play. Three, follow the leader. 
This formula must be there in the family too. The first one is work as a team. Don't just break yourself away from the teamwork. We can share the work, share the responsibility. Uh, one of uh, uh, the young ladies, uh, the one young couple just got married. And in three weeks they had problems. And they decided to separate. We felt so bad. And then we called the young people. We discuss about them. We discuss a brand new marriage, three weeks. Eh? And they were courting for five years. Eh? And three weeks they are in a shaky condition. And the problem was the lady wrote that 21 jobs, work to do at home. 21 duties. Out of that 18 she did, one they shared, and the rest nobody did. Hmm. That was a more difficult thing. Then sit down there, we try to find out sharing responsibility. Dividing their work. And uh, the problem was solved. Now they are married for 13 years. Happy. Many times when you don't know role play and the teamwork, there is a problem. You know, there, you know, although her husband is the head of the family, as we talked last night, there are areas women make decisions. There are areas men make decisions. But in either case, you make the decision together. Maybe to buy a car, husband can make a decision. But about the color, the woman makes the decision. About the payment, both of you have to work on the finance. We know one case. Just marry a couple. The mother of the girl decided to give some money to buy a car. So because the money is from her mother, <coughs> the girl decided, I go and buy a car. She bought the car and came, very expensive car. And when the man saw the car, that very second, she never asked me, how much is this car? So much. How much we have to pay monthly? So much. And that was very difficult for them to pay. For five years they have to pay. If they would have discussed together, they would have worked on something different. But the reason which motivated her to make the decision, my mother gave me money, Therefore, I have the right to decide. It's I, me, mine. These three elements almost destroy the marriage. But if they would have put their heads together, and they should have said, look, my mother gave me so much of money as a down payment. We need an extra car. How shall we do? They would have calculated the price and color and the speed and expense and everything. It would have been easier. So then, this is how we can find out, we can avoid individuality and we can build a unity with when we tune up these few things.
promova unirea considerând acești fapt. And there are few more things that we need to consider. Sunt încă câteva lucruri pe care trebuie să le considerăm. And uh, the family rules. Poruncile sau regulile familiei. Is very important. Sunt foarte importante. And uh, Uh, what was that uh, instruction given to the first uh, couple in the Garden of Eden? Ce instrucțiune le-a fost dată primul primei familii în grădina Eden? Leave. Lasă. And clear. Și lipește, lipește-te. That means we have to put up our, all the, the family influence. Asta înseamnă că trebuie să dăm de o parte toate influențele. But there are some influence which will be there in your life in ground. Dar vor fi unele um, Like for example, if, for example, if you're from broken family, if you have a childhood trouble, that you're gonna take away. But it would be there. And the next problem that you need to have is the pity annoyance. So the little little problems, eh? you don't have to annoy one another. <coughs> Little tiny little things irritate. Like the taste of the food. And the arrangement of the flowers. And the taste of color of the dress or whatever. Some of those things, you know, there are many things I can tell. Little things do not take as a serious matter. And the couples have left their home. And their home never left. They always talk about their mother, father, and brother, sister. If they can talk about them, but don't make any comparison to pull one or push one. <coughs> and then maybe we could uh, come conclude in a couple of minutes. So another problem is the financial difficulties. So you have to just seriously work on this area. After marriage, who is going to work, who is not going to work, how they are going to commute, when are they going to have children, and all those things they have to work out. And how are they going to handle their bank accounts, And then how they will manage all the rest of the expense of paying bill and everything. Are, are they going to have insurance? And how are they going to? What are the insurances? Do we need to have a credit card? Don't we need to have a credit card? Some of those things they have to seriously sit down and discuss as a team. Some of the things that you have to forget is example the childhood pain. When you grew up, you grew up outside the church. And you saw your father always beating up your mother. Or both of them beating you up. So don't bring that one into this new family. Because my father did, I will do that. All this childhood pain you have to leave out. All the paternal stress you have to leave out. No one has had an ideal marriage. But they made it ideal and successful. So then our attitude, our adjustment play a major role. Therefore, I adjust the problem. And I adjust the attitude and solve the problem. So, uh, it is, in a, in a, if it is an unresolved problem, Unresolved tension. Destroy the marriage. Before going to sleep. Resolve the problem that day. That's what till then. Bible says, let not the sun do sun go down with your wrath. So then we need to have a conflict resolution. 
Not a, a separation. Some areas you can have a compromise of your thoughts and other stuff you reconcile. <laughs> Some places you don't agree, but I agree to disagree. Okay, then you can also share with the love gift, you can also give some of those uh, things that is uh, possibly to help. And the conflict minus rational process is explosion. Conflict uh, with the rational process rational, and a reconciliation, compromise, agree to disagree, that eliminate explosion. Just a quick thing, I'm going to finish it. Conflict rule. Know yourself. Think. Disarm your verbal army. <laughs> Most of the time you speak bah, 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 and then psh. Then big bang. Big bang. And, and stick to the basics. <laughs> so you don't have to go <coughs> with your uh, serious uh, uh, superiority in your argument. <laughs> when there is a conflict, Keep the self out of the conflict. If you put the self before everything, you destroy the whole thing. And also conflict to opinions. And there's some option that you can have cool off, just relax. If there is a problem, more argument comes, just to each one of you just to get out of that spot and cool it down. And defuse the situation by changing the atmosphere, or changing the nature of work, or changing the location, uh, recognize the conflict as a normal. But seek resolution. <laughs> if you say that you have never had a conflict, that may not be true. But if we have the process and the conflict, but the result, that is the right. Then finally, then you will have an excellent way of continuing your life forever. So may God help us with this thought for this first portion of your married life. Mm. But we will see how it is going to be the second part and the third part in the evening.